upgraded motor heads. Before you feast your eyes on this minty pile of video, I just wanted to ask all you minty fellers for a favor. I'd ask that you guys uh, watching this, if you enjoy it, go ahead and share the crap out of this video. Why am I asking you this? Well, it seems like old Kanadistan is, uh... They're sliding down that dangerous road of communism. And you're sitting there sipping your beer, wondering, Peg and Leg, and hurry up with the video. I just want to watch some junk. And I know, I get it. I understand. But uh, I just want to ask you guys to share the crap out of this content. And why am I asking that? Well, the Canadian government has passed all the bills and got all their T's crossed and I's dotted. It seems like every couple of weeks there's some new gong show of a bill that everyone says is gonna you know wipe out creators off social media on the uh basically screwing over any lube tuber that's dd speed shop the boss garage that's ave the old twin six garage all of these other minty lube tubers the canadian government if they don't think that their channel is canadian enough or forced yeah. you to make canadian content only am i only gonna be, be able to talk about like maple syrup and beavers and shit? they're gonna hide shadow ban and possibly shut down any channel they don't like i guess they passed all the bills and all the rest of that crap so it's a real problem, yeah. We talked about this in the past, and I thought it was, uh, I didn't think the Canadian government would get as bad as it did, but it has gotten real bad. So yeah, the other day I was listening to JRE. When's the last time you've been up there? Right, like, I don't go up there anymore. You refuse, right? Yeah. What they've done up there, what they did with the trucker rally, what they're trying to clamp down on censorship on the internet, that guy can eat sh And he had that guy on his podcast, and they were going back and forth about how bad the Canadian government really is getting. So... It's bad. If you guys listen to that JRE podcast, I'll put it in the uh, thing right here. Fancy. So yeah, that was a good podcast. I listened to it. It got my blood boiling a lot. Uh, I know all you minty pricks that watch this derelict garbage is, uh, you guys are loyal. You guys are loyal as my leg is gone. So I'd ask you guys just to go ahead and share the crap out of this. Share it with everybody. And uh, the only way that my stuff's going to keep on running is if, uh, well, you guys keep freedom free. And to all the Patreons that are keeping my freedom of speech paid for, man, I appreciate it. Without you guys, I'd be up sh creek without a paddle. Alrighty, well, enough of me, John, about this dirty old political garbage. Enjoy this dirty derelict production. Man, welcome back to the land of clapped out dirty old auction gear and dirty old piss warm PC light gear. It's been sitting around a while. She's getting real skunky when you crack her open. Oh, this one's for Bert and Joe Diffie. Well, I woke up this morning with no way to hold my head. Didn't hurt. Put my leg on, one strap at a time. Hobbled out to meet the day. Well, I realized I really don't have enough dirty old derelict furs around here. I mean, there's a certain level of minty old furs that you gotta have on hand all the time, and I ain't at that quota. So I was around on the old Facebook marketplace. Ooh, a piece of candy. 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 <laughs> And apparently it's some dirty derelict like old hillbilly like me. And uh, well, he has a dirty old bird for sale. And it just so happens to be a 6.9 IDI. And you're asking a cripple, you say, cripple, how many dirty old IDIs do you really need? Well, the answer to that is all of it. That's right. All of it and then some. That's right. Because if you have land and you don't have a bunch of dirty derelict like old trucks preventing the grass from growing, I mean, what are you really doing with your life? But as far as whether it is stunned, I'm going to do a dirty old cold start this morning. It's November 10th and we haven't even really had frost yet this year. So all the uh, island and shit, all you guys have been doing for your uh, dirty old furs, chevs, and dodges, just letting them dirty old diesels idle, we appreciate it because the global warming is just t-shirt weather. Let's get this dirty old furred to fire. I mean, it's about zero communist measurements out. It'll fire. You don't need a grid heater. Anybody seen it? This is a ligament. I don't, know, I don't know how to sell a ligament, but I know how to do them on these dirty old birds. Well, we got to hammer one out this morning. What for? Uh, well, I might have pulled a loaded water truck off the road the other day and uh, might have full Chevy the front end of it. But don't worry, I'll fix it. You know, I was just in here jacking up the old fur and I couldn't help but think what would happen if I was a Dodge guy running two handles at the same time? Really makes the guy wonder, you know? Mopar no car. So you wanted to do an allegment on your old furred because you were giving her all the way and you towed in your wheels. Well, jack her up, pull the front wheels off. <laughs> Alrighty, well you grab your nuts, grab a couple old little chunks of iron you got laying around. All right, bolt that chunk of angle iron to your hub so she's nice and flush on both sides. Level her off, mint. 
Do the same thing the other side. Now, set your tape measure up here so she's not touching either leaf spring. Make a mark. Measure about damn center to the hub to that mark, which is eight inches, give or take a little bit. Eight inches out the back side. That's about eight inches. And in that's center. All right, now measure on your front side. So we're at 73 inch on the far side, or on the front, and 73 inch on the back. So I didn't, uh, I didn't knock my truck out of alignment at all, but I am gonna tow it in a little bit because uh i mean towing it in just gives you better handling on the highway and i don't know what i was smoking because i guess i didn't knock my truck out of a ligament when i pulled that big dirty old uh, water truck off the road all right so if your fur is minty like mine is it has its own natural oiling system so this guy here she'll just stay nice and lubed up for you and now you go to the torque spec of all the ugga duggas mint mint check her out one last time we got 73 and an eight and 72 and 70 so yeah we're about 3 16th quarter inch of tow in that'll be good on the highway man and now just go into the comment section of this video and watch all the mouth breathing boys that are telling me the same thing that my wife told me last night <sighs> and i'm not doing it right but i'm not gonna lie to you you can't argue with results because i had a good time so you might be able to get away with this on minty old chevys and minty old dodges but you guys went to this well i guess dodge still has a straight axle but them front ends are up like a left-handed frenchman so they're dogs Chevys, they're even worse. They got the front end of a Honda Civic going on. So yeah, keep this in mind when you're working on minty old junk where you're just doing a front end swap or eat on a tie rod end or a tie to pitman or anything like that. Go ahead and do an ligament like this instead of going to town because there's only two reasons to go to town. Princess Auto and beer. That's it. Town is a place where everyone hates you. Kids all try to beat you up. Because I mean, uh, if you can do your own ligaments at home, can you really call yourself a man? Well, with a bit of a trek into the bush there. Bunch of fiddle to get in here. Man, I like to party. Bunch of piss tanks live around here. Yeah, truck made her mint. Bit of drive, but uh, yeah, everything looks pretty good. What the? F what? Oh, for f sake! Oh, I got you good. You looks like we got all kinds of up and turned around. We're in my backyard again for sakes. Well, let's just get one of these pieces. Man. Well, it's clearly a few more beer in the future. What are you stunned? What are you doing with my rattos? Give me that thing. Get back here with that rattos. <sighs> stunned. But yeah, we're back at her here. Just uh Terry Fox in the backyard here. Somebody left that dog in the microwave on high for a while. So yeah, those revive and drives when you go to some guy's house and he parks some vehicle has been sitting there for a while and it's and it use nine times out of ten, they usually fire the it's 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 with ease. I mean, I'm I'm graduating up to a whole different level of fiddle. So what we have here is a finely aged pile of shit that I got from the mayor of G-Dale. Believe it or not. Well, that's a good Dana 50 axle right there. Oh, man. So yeah, that's the story with this piece of shit. I got it, oh, I would say six or seven years ago. It's been sitting here ever since. Willard. 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 You're stunned. 
So she's an 86 bird, and uh, oh, so stunned. She's an 86. I got her, but when I got her, she wasn't in this rough of shape, like a lot of the that I got. But when I got her, she wasn't in this rough of shape. She was actually pretty mint. Well, I was rotten. It was, it was pretty rotten now that I think about it, but it had a King Ranch interior, and that's that's meow. I think I drove over it with the skitter, uh, and I also robbed the transfer case out of it to give my buddy Josh. He needed a mud bogger, TK combo or something. That. Then I got really drunk in the back hole and then ran it over. So it's been run over a couple times, but every time I ran it over, I made sure not to run over the ranch because allegedly it has a 6 9 in it and it ran when parked. Allegedly, it was running when it was parked and the uh, mayor of G Dale wouldn't get me wrong. I mean, the guy's minty as he only ripped my shirt off once at the Grovedale bar. Willard, what are you doing? I told you 15 times or 100 times today you're stunned and you're still just giving her. Willard, come get over here. What are you doing? The uh, yeah, the mayor G Dale, he's a good guy. He's mint, good dude. He wouldn't steer feather wrong. He only ripped my shirt off once at a G Dale uh, event. That was a pretty good time. You know, had a couple of beers, saw a couple of things. You know, yeah, you, ha you haven't lived until you had your shirt ripped off by the mayor of a town. I mean, that's just that's just a good time. But let's get this pile of started. There is some rhyme to my reason as to why the get this pizza running. One, I want to get it running because it's mint. Two, I got some plans for this. Uh, another six nine. I got oh, that fan is just. Squirrel! But I got some plans for some 6.9, 7, 3 IDIs in the not too distant future here. So I wanted to see if this will start. What for, uh, see if it'll start. Now I wonder if we can get her to. Oh, that rod support's in good shape. It's barely even ripped right off. But let's just see if we can get her to spin over a little bit. See if it'll even begin to try to run. So we are living in the great white north, but uh, apparently all that idling and we've been doing with our pickup truck finally paid off and uh, global warming set in. It's like 60 degrees freedom units right now. Just beauty out. All right, well, we gotta find something to fire it over. Do I actually have a socket that size? Oh, I got a half inch drive. Yeah, then I'll put all this back. I totally won't just throw it in the back of the old hooer. Oh, that'll fit, kinda. That's one inch and it kinda fits, so we're gonna use it. Oh, she ain't stuck. Oh yeah, she rolled over. Man, well, that means it'll fire. Well, first things First, let's get this pile of out of here. Oh yeah, it'll come right out of here. Alrighty, well I gotta go find something uh, good enough to uh, get that thing out of there. Might have something around here that might do it. Giant K Whopper winch truck. Uh, uh, it's not stout enough. Can't use a street sweeper. Tires burnt right off of it. Dirty old logging truck equipped with logs. No, ain't gonna do it. Not tough enough. 30 ton excavator. I just don't think it's got the power. Oh, this piece of won't do it either. It doesn't have to get up and go, I tell you. Oh, that's better. The old rickshaw will get her done. What are you, stupid? Rickshaw one, rickshaw two. What a treat. I mean, when, when Black Iron Salvage comes by and drops off a hot rod like this, I mean, she's got stump pulling gear, boys. Mint. Alrighty, well, we got the look at that fing dynasty. I think it's a piece of Ladies watching this, keep your panties on them. I'm a married man. Alright, so now we got the rickshaw, the dynasty naked panty strip, and we're in a sweet fiddler's with that boingy rope that they said I couldn't break. Alrighty, well, we got a hit. A dirty old hitch rated pin now i just gotta find one of them boingy ropes well, i don't remember where that minty boingy rope is but i remember going to princess auto not long ago and they had these on sale and well oh jesus christ smell like that because it's dead oh i just soiled myself but uh princess auto warranty plus this rope plus zero of the we got what we need oh it's even got a wrecking ball on the end of it that barely even goes through your head if it rips off Alrighty, my buddy Sheldon dropped this thing off last night. We took it for a ditch rip. She jumped the approach, no problem. So that means she's G Dale spec. We're gonna rally it. It's gonna be mint. As you guys might remember, out here in G Dale, it's always the rickshaws that put their their weight in. You know, you gotta you gotta pull your weight around here, and a rickshaw will do that. This thing's rated for hitch pins. Alrighty, so anybody that has a Ford, Chev, or a Dodge that says Nissan rickshaws are garbage, well, it's a that. And do they ever tell you they get up and they start? And shitting out of their mouth hole and saying that a rickshaw is not tough. Well, you can tell them Peg told you to fist yourself because. They will take this all day. You know how I know? That piece of I love that thing. It, it, it's taking just beating like a rat dog and it just keeps going. Steering works really good with six grand. 
How much ketchup? All of it. All right, let's go pull us out of Ford. You don't need to worry about if hitch pins are rated. Remember when? But just so you guys know, these Mastercraft screwdrivers are hitch rated. You just stick that in there and send her all the way. Oh, oh for f***s creek. Gotta go and get a hammer here. Oh. Applies for a wrench, a wrench for a hammer, hammers everything else. Oh, it's a long way to go. Oh, jammed in there now for f***s creek. Oh, the vibrations are real. I know, I know you're starting to like it, aren't you? Chop that wood. We need to up our hammer game here. Is this a hammer? Well, that's probably in there good enough. Alrighty, I wailed on this a bunch of the hammer. The things aren't lined up, but you don't need to worry about hitch pins. They're all right, we're gonna delicately get this thing out of here. All right, well that hot pile of in the way before. Now it's really in the way. I wanna yank it that way a bit. This rickshaw just got stump pulling gears. Oh, I don't know how much the tow rope I'm wrapped up in. Probably all of it. Is it all of it? Are we good? Just a powerhouse. Come on. No, she ain't doing it. Do a burnout though. Rocket barb. <laughs> oh, I'm all stuck up on the doghouse. That'll happen. I wonder if this thing's in neutral or if there's 700 things underneath of it jamming up. Oh yeah, it's a neutral. I wonder if this piece of start. This might actually start. But before we start it, we get the out of the way. Actually, it's out of the way now. It, it can stay here. It's out of the way. I mean, it's not like there's 10,000 million pounds of box. Princess Auto Clevis, in mint. There's only one thing better than a rated clevis, and that's all the clevises around that don't have a rating, but there's lots of them. Alrighty, so apparently you don't need a hitch pin. That's mint. Alrighty, these kinetic ropes are the I love these things. You know how many people trucks wouldn't be if they had kinetic ropes instead of chains my calculations are correct and i'm not even that drunk what should happen here is i'm gonna rip her that way and this thing should do a nice little 180 out of here and not hit that skid steer bucket right Oh man, I should have put a hitch pin in there. I guess you do need hitch pins. Where the f did it go? Oh, it's over at the neighbor's house for f creek. Is it still on the end of the rope? Come on. It's like hillbilly fishing here. Come on. It's really heavy still. Let's see. Uh, holy f it's hard for one leg, you gotta find his footing. Oh yeah, it's still on there. Mint. All right, now I'll see if we can hammer that in there and get some kind of pin in there. Best rope ever. Oh yeah, just add bolt. I couldn't find the proper size bolt or pin. So I'm gonna do the Grand Prairie Girl method. You can't find a guy with a big enough hog, just stick two of them in there. There we go, that'll be fine. Man, all right, let's give us another goal. What this guy's gonna do right now is use one of these trailer tires for safety. Oh yeah, that's a gooder right there. So the slim chance of a rope breaking, cause that's never happened. And the slim chance of something rips off of this piece of 
which also never happens. What we're gonna do is just take this dirty old tire. Just gonna hang that on the back of the seat there. So in case this strap rips off and comes to the back window, we better put this headrest up too. There, now if the strap rips off and makes it to the first headrest, there's no way it's gonna make it to the tire in the second headrest, so safety first. Pulled her out like a champ. This thing's got a way stronger pull-out game than I do. Well, this thing's a mint wagon. And this rickshaw is just a fucking pull horse. So let's, uh, well, what are we gonna do with her meow? We could probably, is the strap doing good? I don't want to strap up. I love the strap. I want to f***ing it up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean all of it. Oh, the tie rod's gone full Chevy. This thing's sacked the f*** out. What we need to do is to be able to get underneath it and f***ing get at the starter. There's not even a starter on the old hooter. Well, I guess we're gonna need a starter too. And I think I know where that Dana 50 axle will come from. Oh, look at the floor in this thing, it's in pretty good shape. It's not even that sacked out. Well, yeah, I guess we got an added starter, which is fucked. What the f steal starters? How dare they? So we got an added starter on here. Like, look at that hot pilot. It's just ready for the road. Oh, look at that diesel badge. Oh, oh all that came off was the diesel badge. That's still mint though. Is this thing? Oh. Well, it came off of the XLT one. Well, is the F250 gonna come off? Let him in wave, so they don't sit the piss. Oh, 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 oh yeah. All right, well, I'm sending that off to a Patreon. You guys are f***ing mint. You guys can have one of these badass tags. I'm gonna put that in the rickshaw for safekeeping. And uh, yeah, well, let's f***ing uh, get it ready to shoot. I, you know, it's a little bit f***ed up, but I think it'll be fine. It's not even that f***ed up. While we're over here, let's just have a quick gander at the oil. Oh, there's lots of 1267 in there. No, it smells good. All kinds of crude in there. Mint, tell me you ran over the skid steer bucket without telling me you ran over the skid steer bucket. <laughs> I mean, I think I know why she's anchored here pretty good. <laughs> For sakes. Like, I don't think the skid steer bucket could have jammed itself in there any good, any gooder. Oh, I was even taking a logger's box with it. For sakes. Like, how did this even happen? Because you are stupid proof. Man, she's had a hard life. Look at her. Sacked up. Out. I think the frame's really bent too or something. I bent, I wreck stuff when I'm giving her. It's not my fault. It's the way she goes. 2023, no accountability. Go f yourself. All right, well, let's go grab a starter and some other stuff. A lot of people say, Peg, what are you, fat and lady? You don't walk this shop? That's right. In the South Sea can, there's one, at least one IDI, but of course there's no fucking starter. Where the f does the starter go? Is there one in here? Oh, f yeah, bud. Brand new stirrer on there what a oh it's got the leads on it and everything i mean me hob when i done something right oh it's the gear reduction wilson bolts are all there i'm gonna this thing get yourself hard because i'm gonna suck your like i'm mad at it oh man it's my lucky day i'm just stoked one two man oh yeah i think this is a 692 it might be a 69 it might be a 73 what is it here it's a void, that's what it is. 175 horse at 3300 RPM. There's no fucking way any 6.9 or 7.3 IDI made a buck 75 horse unless someone was spraying Cosby sauce on her throat hole. These things are gutless, but I love them. Oh, I think the donk for tonight is, see if it'll crank, get a little excited, maybe give it a little snort, we'll see what happens. And then, spend the rest of the night drinking. That's always a good idea. All right, let's get the starter in here. Oh yeah, what if those are 16? Those are Nice rims. Yeah, they're steel. That's junk aluminum. You got your sticky dope dog rims. And your stupid truck. Look at all the mint in here. Is this snap on? No, but it's ultra pro. That's awesome. I don't know. Look at this dingled up. What is that? Put that on the end of an impact and see how that thing parties. Oh, yeah. Brand new. And then bolts that. What a treat. All right, well, I'm going to try leaving these wires hooked up so I don't have to fiddle 
come out of the truck, it's probably gonna turn out to be a real bad idea. But now that these bolts are covered in rock tight, go in there right mint. Just stick it in there. Mint. That'll work. Man, this starter was made in JA pan. She's gonna be a gutter. Ah, starter's on. Let's go see if it'll crank. Stupid light in the rickshaw won't turn off. This will fix this wagon. Oh. There we go. How is it still turned on? Oh, the cord's kind of still good. Uh, is it? Oh, for f creak, that was a good mirror. Are you f retarded? You don't need that stupid f mirror anyway. Look at the air freshness on there. Oh, the fuel pump's missing off of it too. Wonderful. Not a bunch of oil gonna be squirting out of there for f creak. Whatever else got in there. Dump bees. There's probably some dump bees right in this engine. I guarantee it. Someone pulled the glow plug harness off of it. There's a lot of things off this engine that uh, someone's robbed. But that's fine. <sighs> All right, we'll see if, uh, let's get the battery on there. So a lot of you young guys watching this channel, take note to this. Every 7.3 I've ever seen, the guys are trying to get running. They'll send me a video. I try to help them out to get the running. They never have good batteries and a good battery connection. These things need it. Like a libtard needs a welfare check. Like all of it. They need a good battery connection so grab some big old this is four aught whatever aught cable is the biggest you can get that's what you got to use and new connections because if they ain't cranking fast these pieces of won't start go grab a battery and a booster pack oh, that's ground oh it's fucking, i'm fucking stunned i got the word rear that's not the right size i grabbed the positive side now we're gonna have to hit this thing with a hammer where's something else that can identify as a hammer and yeah, that'll do There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, so when it comes down to the battery connection thing, you're definitely gonna want to do as I say, not as I do. Now when you jumper pack, flip this upside down and hammer it on for a better connection. See? Man. Alrighty, well we're gonna go in here and turn the key on. Oh, oh no, the key's already on there. Yeah, oh yeah, she's on. Alright, let's just see if it's gonna crank. What do you guys think? Alright, I go fishing in the dark for the wire now because you guys got my light and i'm stunned and i only brought one light now as some al borland looking guy that likes to run equipment once said contact contact <laughs> and she cranked now yeah i'm okay buddy how was school did you do hillbilly shit? Oh, that light's still freaking work. I know, is that man's or what? You don't even know what it is, do you? It's a Ford. Is it a hot pile of shit? Yes. Yeah, it's mint. Well, you got something for gross mama from yeah. the dump? You can yeah, give it to her Christmas. for Christmas? Yeah. You know, the best thing to get your gross mama is a new phone from the dump. And you could hang it on the wall. You're just the best grandson ever, aren't you? Yeah. Alrighty. So, battery connections aren't even smoking hot yet. So, what we're going to do now, since this engine been sitting here you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put a little bit of uh panther piss down her throat hole let it sit overnight have my guys come in we'll do a quick rebuild on it everything will be mint and uh, we don't want to do anything half fast because this is a 690 idi you know ether will immediately blow them up you can't put that all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the out of it and then we're just gonna give her we'll just it's not gonna start because six nine seven three power smoke seven three idi seven three idi turbo they won't actually run on cosby sauce they don't they just lock up on the they need 1202 and Cosby sauce to fire. So what we're gonna do is crank it over and just see if it locks. If it locks up on Cosby sauce, the first thing you want to do is crack a piston and she'll be in. Let's just see here. Here, let's just listen meow and see how she sounds with that Cosby sauce or throat hole. I'll stick her on through this girl. It sounds like there's a few intake valves hanging up. It's what it sounds like. Because you can hear it coming back to the intake. Like all of it. So I think let's just crank it one more time and have a listen here. Let's see here. All right, so she cranks over. The Cosby sauce locks her up. So that's a good diagnosis that the 
thing's gonna run. And uh, well, yeah, now the beer's calling my name. So I'm gonna go in the house to get drunk. And tomorrow, we're gonna come back out here and fiddle this thing back to life. And no, it's not a house, it's a echo shack, but I, mean, I call it a house. Alrighty, you minty old pilot. I'll see you tomorrow when all these mouth breeders that are watching this can actually see what the going on because I can't see a fing thing. I can't see do you think the door will still open? I mean, with a rickshaw, it would. Alrighty, well, we're back out here to the land of sacked out trucks and zero f***ing done. Alrighty, well, let's get this piece of sh** huge. We got uh, all the fiddle we we're going to need to get her to go. We got a piss jug full of diesel, return line, clickety clacker, Princess Auto Cosby sauce, jumper pack. Oh, yeah. Man, let's just see how she cranks now. With a good battery, freshly charged jumper pack. Let's see. Oh, it's not cranking at all. What in the sweet filler is going on here? Am I stunned or something? That is correct. Oh no. We're getting, oh, I'm still stunned, but. <laughs> all right, well, she cranks not really fast enough, but I mean, we can fix it if we got a huge steaming ball of foreshadowing. Well, let's get the fuel system set up. All right, so we got that thing all pulled back. We got the uh, click clack 500 dialed in there. We need 12 volts for that piece of. We got the Chinese and hose clamps. You gotta have your good hose clamps and your shitty hose clamps. Like why the f didn't the Chinese and the Americans get together on that one? Most of them are quarter inch and flat. Minty as f These are six stupid millimeter and Phillips. Like what the f <sighs> All right, that's all hooked up. Let's just see if we can get uh, some fuel bleeding through this old prick. Oh, we gotta see if the injection pump's gonna come to life too. Let's see if it'll click. Spread one of these things open. So it's a little bit fatter to get on the injection pump plug. Wear that up. We'll see if it clicks. If we don't click that's no bueno all right let's listen for the click oh yeah we got injection pump now it's important yet yeah, you are doing everything like a hillbilly on this thing but it's important if you're doing hillbilly you gotta make sure you're doing it right you gotta be really smart about doing stupid minty broad actually once told me that let's listen to the fuel pump pump works mint jam that in there with that almost and hook some fuel to her meow holy this thing is thundered oh done some hard drinking last night this thing will probably run off my piss it's radioactive peg piss that's the good stuff we'll stick that in there i don't even know if that's gonna be enough fuel to prime a system to tell you the truth might have to go get more but uh let's fire it up and see what the happens for the fuel system i sucked on that oh i'm gonna get a big gulp of grease here ready oh we got an injector return line tore off so all the air is gonna be getting in there oh it's priming. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough fuel. Ah, oh, for fuck's creek. We gotta go get more 1202. Alrighty, well we got a more 1202. We got some fucking injector return line. I'll hook her up here. Alright, that's hooked up. That's the only one that's missing. The crossover still in there. Oh yeah. Alrighty, well let's fire the old clickety clacker and prime this system. Well, let's just turn the injection pump on, loosen off one of these lines, and see if we got any fuel going anywhere. Oh, the pump's already on. Well, let's Crank it a bit, and then just spray Cosby sauce into it, cause <laughs> Now is there exhaust on this thing? It looks a little sacked out, but is it hooked up? Oh yeah, still mint. All right, let's crank it a bit and see if we can't get it to go. It'd be nice to have a get up and go switch up here for cranking it, cause then I can crank it and Cosby sauce it. But I mean, they seem to like cruise control on the start, so that'd be fine. You don't need to worry about the f***ing Bendix. Are you f***ing me? Oh, it's juicing. You don't need to worry about the bend. Everything's getting hot. That's fine. But it's cranking and it's juicing. So you know what that means? It's getting fuel. It's probably just eight million 
freedom units of air in there, and that's fine. Oh, it'd be nice to have the old f***ing, uh, what is the, what is that legendary prick call it? Uh, the Lone Wolf 500, because every Chevy, the f***ing solenoid on the, on the, uh, what's me call it there? I don't got one. <laughs> Crank it. Need some more cranking power. You don't need to worry about all that smoke. All right, well, let's hook the rip shop to it. We'll use the Princess Auto Start. I mean, it's got starting fluid with lubricity, so that means you won't even send a rod to the side of the block. But we'll turn it around, hook the rip shop, hook up the cables, and we'll be to go. All right, we got the old rice burning rickshaw hooked up. Uh, we're gonna dial that guy on. But there are a lot of guys out there, a lot of guys will tell you that you can't do what I'm about to do. But we're gonna tell them to get uh, So we're gonna take this negative wire and we're gonna hook it up to this guy, right? And we're gonna take this positive wire and we're gonna hook it up to this negative. See what that's gonna do, it's gonna give us all of it. And then we're gonna take this positive wire and hook it up to this positive. Now, if you're uh, at all smart about electrical you know that i just did something that this starter probably not rated for but you really got to take it to the account as i don't give a f but then what we'll do is we'll hook this guy into here Tarted. and make it a complete debacle so we're charging 12 volt oh wrong side that's probably bad Dude, you are so historically retarded we're charging 12 volts on this guy but then we have all of the bolts going into the battery as well now we're just gonna see how the starter sounds with that. Anybody know what's going on, knows what's going on. But I'm here to party too. Let's see what the happens. <laughs> now that's the crank it. All right, it says 12 volts right on the starter, right? But if you don't worry about that and use libtard logic, now that identifies the 24 volt starter, so it'll be fine. So now if you wanna run 12 volt accessory stuff, like the injection pump here, you just hook it to one 12 volt battery. Like the rickshaw right now, she's only running 12 volts. There's 12 volts, should be. All right, 12 volts. So we take this negative lead, put it over here, we got all the volts. So what we got going on here right now, is this is the negative lead to the truck, right? Going to the negative lead on the booster pack. Positive lead on the booster pack, going to the negative lead on this battery. So what we got there for the booster pack is 12 volts. 12 volts here. Right? And then we got 12 volts here. See? Yeah. But when we add these motherfuckers together, but what we're doing here is basically making a 12 volt starter identify as a 24 volt starter. And if anybody knows anything about dirty old wall gas, is that the more voltage you have, the less current there is. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So basically we can have little connections like that and it'll still work. That starter's gonna crank like a mother and then we're just gonna run all of our accessories and the rickshaw of one battery. So there, now you're doing some book learning. If you ever want, so let's say if you're working on a piece of heavy equipment, a lot of the older heavy equipment, I don't know about the new I'm pretty uh, outdated on that But a lot of the equipment is 24 volt, but they use two 12 volt batteries to make 24 volt power. So if you show up on site with your rickshaw and you need to boost the loader, well, you just boost one battery at a time. You can't put two four volts into a 24 volt system and you don't want to accidentally backfeed 24 volts to the old rickshaw because she'll get secondhand dodge wiring real fast. What you do is you boost one battery at a time and then boost one battery up to life, hook up to the next battery, boost it up to life, and hopefully the rick starts. Oh God. If you have not one but two dirty old rickshaws on site. You can hook one rickshaw to one battery, one rickshaw to the other. Ugh. And then the parallel or series circuit, buckler and all that it'll goes through that and it'll give you 24 volts for the machine. Do you want my head to explode? We got 24 volts running through a 12 volt starter, but there's a really important thing to consider here. I don't give the sweetest fiddler I just want to hear this minty old bird fire up. Yes. So now your all your accessories are 12, but your starter is dirty old 24. Let's see here. <laughs> all the crankage. So f it. So now I think our injection pump's on. That looks like 24 volts to you. Yeah. Ah. 
Oh yeah, injection pumps on. Fuel is click clacking. Well, let's feed her some Cosby sauce and give her all the way. We'll just stick this in here, like so. Let's crank it and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna go. <laughs> Listen to this man, the old prick. She wants to live. Oh man, wiring dangerously close to the altar tater. Backyard for about six years, and it doesn't even smoke. Look at that. Oh, uh, would you look at that? Just squish right flat. Oh, oh, it's kind of pinched off there a little bit, too. Look at that. Here, right? You don't need to worry about head gaskets. Oh, that's arcing out. Oh, that wire is real hot. I think it's arcing out in a bunch of spots, but that's fine. See, you point out her head gasket, she gets all piss pants. Let's just see if she dials right up. Ready? <laughs> Me, I love these old birds. Can we feed a ketchup from in the cab? What I fail to understand here is how the f does this door still have a window in it? And it's clean for f sake. That, 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 that's a good question. Listen to her spark back up. Listen to this. Ready? Where the f go? There it is. Listen to that. Loyal. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. In my brain, the 6.9 does sound a f***ing cunt hair different than the 7.3. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my booze-addled brain that thinks that. You are right. But uh, I think that's what's going on. Ready? Listen, just listen to this. Just listen. What a f***ing treat. Look at the old blow-by hole. That's a multi-purpose hole. That's what she said. It's got dust control, blow-by hole, dust control hole, anti-rust hole, lets you know if there's an oil pressure hole. It's an all-around hole.
All right, well, being that this isn't a Dodge, do you want to bet that the fucking charging system still works in this old piece of shit? I mean, it's ripped all too fucking, and there's flying everywhere, and there's on the walls. But do you guys think the charging system still works? Let's find a All right, so all these wires here would have went to one side of the solenoid. There should have been, there should be a charge wire in here. One of these guys, something or other. We're just gonna touch them all together. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna touch them all together, apply 12 volts, because the alternator it's gonna need 12 volts to excite, but once the 12 volts is excited, it should make 12 volts to this positive battery lead here. Yeah, that's how it works. Or, yeah, I think that's what's going on. There's a lot of diesel in my right eye, like a lot. Like it, it's burning. Basically, we're gonna hook power to everything. Let's not overthink it. So this should be nice and hot. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, all of it. So now when we start it and we excite the alternator through the exciter wire, the field wire, it should start charging. Let's hook up the old multi meter here that wire's getting hot you know what's getting hot when the old rickshaw is starting to lug down let's see here let's just crank it over meow and fire it back up oh what the f do i got for a mess of wires here this guy will hook this guy to the brown guy now that'll fire it up and then, so this guy's hot do we have any power there yet oh that guy's melting so no voltage at all right now if we hook this wire, and this wire, and this wire, and this wire. Go ahead, sir. And this wire, and then this wire. I think I just heard the elevator lug down. Yeah, we got 12 volts. We have 14 volts of that thing. Charge system still works. Man, you're not gonna get out with no dodge. So now, usually this is where I would get in the thing, crack a fresh one, and go for a rip. But there's a lot of fiddle that would be required to get this back going. I don't, I don't actually know what exactly happened. Drinking. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of, lot of drinking. Are you still drinking? No, 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 no. I, I don't. That's, that's behind me now. I just. Why are you buying? But there's a lot of components missing. And uh, for us to add the components back, we'd have to actually have them. I don't know what the feller's got for a drive line and all the rest of the fiddle to get this guy to go. Maybe one day we'll throw that on the old back burner. Because I mean, why not get her back on the road? She's in. Alrighty, well, we got the old proprietary furred hubcap blocking off the intake. And uh, I reckon this minty old prick's good for another day. What a freak. You don't need to worry about the tie rod. You don't need to worry about the little potato saying, how dare you. Alrighty, well, those fiddle all this wiring and fuel pumps and batteries and all this fiddle f***ing. How much stunned, Willard? How much? How much stunned? All of it. But yeah, those fiddle all this thrown into the back of the old rickshaw. Well, I seen this minty old fur. And I thought to myself, we got a 1202 fired up. Why not get a 1203? So the story on this old pilot is I bought this thing at a garage sale. So old Mrs. Peg was garage sailing. And I said, uh, you know, I was walking around with all the stupid knickknacks and garbage and fiddle fiddle. And all this guy was standing there smoking the dirt, leaning on this sassy old fur. And I said, well, uh, what's the coop on this? And he said, well, some guy left it here a long time ago. And if you give me what's in your pocket, and he wasn't talking about my pecker. There's no hole in the pockets at that time. But if you give me what's in your pocket, she could take the Thing home give me what you got in your pocket and she's yours for real so being at the time that uh old f1 died that, that was around the time that f1 died we put her to death i was not to recharge strong for this old pilot i was stoked because this is the exact truck that the f1 is. i think this one's newer it's got airbags and whatnot in it but i bought the thing for 40 dollars my son definitely smashed the windshield out of it but i mean that's fine still got cassette i don't know I think I tried getting it running, but it just wouldn't run for get on the trailer. I don't know how old the fuel was. And uh, I got this thing probably two or three years ago, I think. Time started to slip away from the old boy being that alcohol and not. Oh, piece of red neck diamond just landed right in my eye. God damn son of a For sakes. Ah, my eye! Alrighty, well, a quick trip to the old uh, bathroom here. Got the uh, red neck diamonds out of my eye. Holy Let's see if I can do that again, but I'll save these quint. We might have to rip the whole windshield out of this piece of shit. That's brutal. But yeah, like I was saying, I got this thing from a garage sale, but he didn't seem to want it 
thing. I mean, you can't not buy a truck for 40 bucks. Uh, the old 40 buck furred. But we're gonna pop the ranch on it. Let's see what the is going on. And I got a plan for this old hot rod. It's gonna be mint. These trucks are tough. Oh, is that popped already? Is it stunned? What in the sweet fiddler is going on here? What in the sweet is going on? I don't know about you guys, but I pretty much run out of patience for this hood already. So I went in there to grab something to pry it open, and I found this rope. Rickshaw engaged. Ah, don't you hate two part centered bidges? Because that's what this is. If you guys want to enjoy the rest of this derelict production, come on over to the Patreon. You can uh, enjoy this dirty derelict production on a bridge with all the swearing and all the mintiness. If you don't feel like doing that, no big deal. Next week, just before old St. Nick and a big red sack come ripping down the old chimney, I'll be posting up the second part of this. Until next time, keep pooping out your pipe.